In July of 2022, the K-pop community was rocked by the news of the abrupt end of the beloved Korean television program called Sketchbook. The show, which ran for 13 years with host Yu Yi Hyul at the helm, provided a platform for popular and up-and-coming acts to showcase their talent. But a shining star of the pop music constellation was eclipsed by a plagiarism scandal that ended its run, coincidentally, in 600th episode. Viewers of this channel will know I've been covering a lot of stories regarding plagiarism accusations and K-pop on both sides, from the ones accusing an artist of plagiarism to artists who have accused others of it. But this story is special. Given the recent news and sudden ending of Sketchbook, I wanted to highlight the plagiarism scandals that led to the unfortunate ending of this popular Korean entertainment show in a very special episode of my series on the plagiarism scandals in K-pop. In case you didn't know, Yu Hyul has been a fixture in Korean entertainment for decades now. As the host of Sketchbook, his talk show offered insight into Korean musicians and viewers got to see unforgettable performances. But his prolific entertainment career began long before he started the show in 2009. Yu had been a professional singer since 1992, where he was a member of a duet called Toy. And he continues to write songs for himself and other artists. And in 1997, he founded the music label that now goes by Antenna Music. There was hardly ever a problem with Yu's television show, but unfortunately it was a casualty in the recent plagiarism scandal. His most recent collaboration called Yu Hee Yeo's Life's Music is an extended project in which he released a piano accompaniment piece each month and would culminate in the release of the LP of the songs. The accusations revolve around the second song of the set which was released in the fall of 2021 and is called A Most Private Evening. In June of 2022, netizens on Instagram noted that the song sounds similar to Aqua by Ryuichi Sakamoto, a Japanese composer. Yu admitted that he is a fan of Sakamoto's music and said that although he didn't intend to copy the musician's work, he couldn't deny that the song sounded very similar. He apologized to Sakamoto and will be delaying the release of his album until he can make a proper attribution in his album. For his part though, Sakamoto released a statement in which he said he saw the similarities between the two songs but considered them different enough that it would be pointless to pursue legal action. He added that Yu has shown respect for his music with Yu's composition and admitted that he himself was influenced by the 19th century French composer Claude Debussy and the 18th century German composer Johann Sebastian Bach in many of his songs and only put some of his own creative energy into them. He quoted, Every creation is influenced by existing arts, or the public domain, he said. It would be great and appreciated if you could put 5-10% to 10 of your originality into it. And it's important to know that whenever a song samples or pulls from public domain works like Bach, this is public domain and does not qualify as plagiarism. It has to have an existing copyright. Unfortunately, though, to add fuel to the fire, shortly after his apology, another plagiarism accusation erupted in regards to Sung Shi Kyung's 2002 song, Happy Birthday to You, which was given by the writer, composer, and producer, Yu Hee Yeol. This one drew comparisons to Koji Tamaki's 1998 Happy Birthday to You, and plagiarism concerns surfaced after discovering the song to be registered solely to Yu Hee Yeol's name in the Korea Music Copyright Association. And sadly, the accusations didn't stop there. Others found similarities to his song Please Don't Go My Girl featuring Johan Kim's from the 2013 Infinite Challenge to be close to public announcements body bumping. His apology didn't assuage the public or critics, however, and Kim Taewon, the leader of the group Bu Hall, said in a television show with Im Jin Mo, a music critic, that plagiarism in Korea is a disease that has been neglected too long. Im Jin Mo considered the plagiarism to be a moral failing on Yu's part since he was educated enough to have known what he was doing. 
Eventually, the critics' statements and public pressure forced you to make the difficult decision to step down and end the production of Sketchbook, as well as withdraw from his other activities. In the show's final episode, Yui Yal made an emotional speech thanking viewers for their support over the years and reminiscing over the program. He said earlier that the accusations were hurtful to him and he would take time off from his career to reflect on what he had done so he wouldn't be involved in controversies like that again. Well, fans, what are your thoughts on all of this? Do you hear the similarities? What are some of your favorite sketchbook performances? Thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons for me. I appreciate you for stopping by. Check out many more of my videos, and I shall see you next time.